On this crisp February evening, we're set for a battle between two powerhouse teams vying for the top spot in the league. In the corner wearing blue, it's the high-flying offense and tenacious defense of the team from the shores of Lake Ontario, Toronto, and facing off against them, ready to bring the heat from the land of 10,000 lakes. It's Minnesota. Get ready for a fast-paced game filled with heart, skill, and the burning desire for victory. Buckle up, because tonight, the puck drops on a battle between Toronto and Minnesota. Fleming will jump on it and clear the zone for Minnesota. Here's Malte again. She'll send a backhand right in on Hensley. We were talking to Troy Ryan before the game, and it, she might be the MVP of this thing during the turnaround. Well, everybody's got a star next to Spooner's name on the roster, as they should, but Emma Malte has been great as well. She's got five points in her last four games, three games of the four she scored points in, so she's been rocking and rolling in this win streak that Toronto has had, and that's that's a tough thing if you're a team like Minnesota, who you know you got to pay attention to Spooner, but now you got another player on that second line you got to keep an eye on as well tonight, so Minnesota's going to have their hands full with the offense on this Toronto roster. Here's Sophie Jakes from the Minnesota Blue Line. Had it picked off at center. And Leslie will send it back into the Minnesota zone. This is going to dribble back in deep. No icing call. There is Jocelyn LaRock rimming the end boards and sending it back out to center ice. Jocelyn LaRock, of course, the second overall pick in the draft behind Taylor Heisen. Now coming in, this is Kramer. She has stood up nicely by Monroe in the circle. Was neutralized. Couldn't get a shot toward the net. And you can feel this crowd, even on Sunday, I noticed as the later got on in the game and Minnesota was still sitting scoreless, every time they entered the offensive zone, the crowd got a little riled up. They are just waiting for a goal to be scored so they can celebrate something. You notice that there as the puck was carried in, they did the same thing. They are anxious for this Minnesota team to score some goals. Nurse, beautiful pass ahead for Miller. She'll come in on side, but then a nice job by Natalie Bookbinder to stand in the way of that shot. It never got through. Bookbinder, we'll seventh round pick out of Wisconsin. And now Minnesota will bang it off the near wall. Rolls ahead at center, trying to enter the zone was Boreen, but she was having a hard time. Loose puck in behind Campbell. There's Coyne Schofield right out in front, and it comes on through to the near wing. And Flaherty will pump it back in deep. You've talked about Coyne the last several games, how good she has been. She has just been getting so many looks, and she's playing with a little bit of feist and at times even anger in her game, it feels like, where she is just looking for those opportunities and another good look there to turn her body towards the net and get the shot on. Here comes the leading goal scorer in the PWHL. Natalie Spooner from her knees got it toward the middle. Nobody there for Toronto. I mean, she is, <laughs> she is a scrapper. She is always around the puck, as you talked about, 10 goals, leading the league, third in points with a dozen. This is going to drift over to the far wing corner. Jesse Comper will ratchet it around to the near wing side. Ruggio, kind of a muffled shot, again, didn't get through to the net. In the corner, Bach tried to center, tied up by three Minnesota players as we're coming up on the five-minute mark of period number one. Still no goals in this hockey game. Here's Zemwinkle. Near wing side, nice move around Ruggio! Oh, pad save by Campbell. Great look by Zumwinkle. Maybe got it with her blocker. And now Howard holds it in deep for Toronto. Boy, Grace Zumwinkle, seven goals, three of them game winners. No doubt she has been one of the stars this year in the first year for Minnesota. There's a stick save by Nicole Hensley from long range. Fast will hold it in on the near wing side. Zumwinkle again will shovel it out. This is going to bounce toward the Toronto goaltender again. And now Blair Turnbull with some speed. Hands off to Malte. Back for Turnbull. Beautiful move. And she scores. Drifts in behind Hensley. And Toronto jumps out to a 1-0 lead here in Minneapolis. That is one Nicole Hensley is going to want back. She had it in between her pads as Turnbull scores her second goal of the season here. A bit of a squeaker, and those are the ones that make you shake your head if you're a goaltender. It was a great play to drive the net here, outworks the Minnesota defense, and Hensley, you can see her turning, and by the time she realized the puck was behind her, it was already over the line, and a tough start for Minnesota, who's had trouble. Four, playing in the WCHA. Again, the only game in the PWHL tonight. Minnesota with a regulation win will be in a tie for first. 
Toronto trying to get into second place with a regulation win. They'll go ahead of Minnesota. It's crazy how much the standings have changed as of late. Earlier in the season, it was the best and the worst, and now everybody is just bunched together, yep. just a few points separating most of these teams in the league, and that's how quickly things can change in the PWHL. Right out in front, backhand, they score! Sophie Jakes! That is her first goal in a Minnesota uniform, and Minnesota gets the equalizer. Well, welcome to Minnesota, Sophie Jakes. We talked about how good Susanna Tapani has been in her new team. And nice to see the new member of Team Minnesota making a difference here in this one. She gets her first goal of the season, her second point overall. Talked about Ohio State University players. She also played her college hockey there. And a great play down low just to get this puck out. And Campbell's looking the other way, defending that. In the zone by Minnesota, picked up here by Krizova. Again, stood up by Lorian Ruggio. He's had a physical period. Coming up on the 18-minute mark of the opening session here. Shots on goal even at six apiece. Goals by Turnbull and Jakes, one apiece. Bouncing puck. Off the end wall. Gathered in by Channel. Channel will work it up along the far wing. Picked off by Nurse at center. She'll step in over the line. On her backhand, goes forehand, will feed the top of the circle. Now here's Renata Fast. Fast turns, fires, trying to tip it on with Spooner. Boy, just the angle of the stick, just off enough to send that wide. And Minnesota had players on her. You got to keep an eye on her at all times, but especially when she's in that tight to the goal like that. And Toronto looking for the tip play out front. And... That's kind of what happens with the tip play. you got to have some finesse to it to get it where you want it to go, and that one went just wide. There's another drive, and Hensley like a cat. He had no penalties in the last five games, but now she gets the gate here in this one. Uh, not even a minute into period number two. There's not too much in Lee Steckline's game you can knock, but she does march to the penalty box quite a bit, and especially the first couple games of the season, she was in there a lot, and now she sits for two. Minnesota going to try to kill this off to keep it a tied game. Here's Spooner, kept it low to the ice. That's going to go wide, bouncing puck, tight quarters, and jamming at it. George will clear it to the far wing side, and it'll slide out of the zone. Oh, this is a, a dangerous Toronto team right now. They have got so much confidence. And now they're on the power play as fast can't hold that in. This is going to bounce all the way back in behind Campbell. Only three goals in 37 attempts on the power play for Toronto this season. They have allowed two shorthanded goals, though. So Minnesota perhaps a chance to try to pick one up against a team who's given up a couple in that quarter category already. Connors comes to the middle, neutralized by Flaherty, held in by Bach. Now on the stick of Emma Malte. 50 seconds to go in this advantage, the first of the hockey game for either team. Flanagan, stick handling just inside the blue line, looking for a one-timer. LaRock now back, they score as Flanagan gets the one-time to go past Hensley and Toronto on the advantage takes a two to one lead that didn't look like it caught anything on the way in which if that's the case flanagan will be credited with the goal it looked like it just kind of went straight through there was a lot of people in the lane there both for toronto and minnesota we'll take another look at it flanagan swaps spots there at the point hands it off then gets the pass back one times it through and based on everybody's reactions i'm thinking this was just a straight shot into the back of the net, beating Hensley glove side, and Toronto regains its lead. Tonight. Loose puck to George is there. She'll hold it in deep for Minnesota. Brooke Bryant. She'll be ridden off the puck by Fast. And again, Steckline trying to hold the zone, but Minnesota's going to have to come back to center. Steckline now will step in. Takes it wide. There's a shot on rebound! And somehow Campbell was able to keep her wits about her. That one drifted past the right post. Held in here at the point. Spooner, some good stick handling, gets to the circle. Great pass! Oh, and Miller point blank grade A denied by Hensley. That felt like a goal waiting to have notes on it and cover it up, but it would be Spooner first ripping this shot off. 
that got deflected on the way in, went off the post on that sequence, and then this one, I don't know how that one did not find the back of the net. Hensley coming way out, ready to make that save. She's been busy. Here's a look at the opportunity that almost gave Minnesota their second goal of the game. Puck carried over the blue line. Shot comes through, bounces off at Campbell. She tries to reach for it, can't get to it. Chaos ensues. Minnesota banging away, and it just rolls. This will be a great angle. Watch it roll past the goal line. Just about two or three inches away from that goal line. That's mm. what the crowd behind the net was reacting. I don't sense any panic in this Minnesota team. And that's exactly the kind of person you want behind the bench because you're going to have a lot of highs and a lot of a lot of lows throughout the sports season. And so to have somebody behind the bench who can help you ride those waves of the season, whether it's going good or poorly, that's exactly what you want. And Coach Ken Klee, you said it perfectly. I mean, he's just he's ready for any situation and knows exactly what the solution needs to be and works to help get his team there. Here at center ice, Kendall Coyne Schofield will take it along the far wing. Poked off her stick by Monroe. Coyne Schofield gets it back, feeds the point. They score! Big drive, Natalie Bookbinder. And now we're even again. That's her first goal of the season here with Team Minnesota. She's got an assist heading into tonight's game, but finds the back of the net herself for the first time this season. And once again, it's a big one. And for Minnesota to get this game tied up once again, you see how this play developed. Kendall Coyne Schofield, who else? Setting up the play down low. And the shot from the point. They've lost two in a row in regulation. No points coming out of those two games. Trying to knock off the hottest team in this league. Toronto trying to win its sixth in a row. Here's Miller. Down for Spooner. Working around. Steckline went to the front and it rolled off her stick. She is so quick. She's got it again. Same maneuver, same result. Fast holds it in on the near point. Fast moving to the middle. Fast. Kept it low to the ice. They score. Toronto takes the lead 3-2 to two with exactly five minutes to go. Well, Hensley went down on the play to make the first save, and then the second shot finds its way into the back of the net. And guess who? A fan favorite here in the PWHL, Sarah Nurse, gives the Toronto their lead back. Here's another look at it. The cycle up high, the shot comes through, and then Hensley ends up on her backside, and Nurse is there at the side of the net, ready to bang it home. That's our athletic brewing company play of the game. Nice face-off win, cleanly to Sophie Jakes. Steckline to the circle, one-timer, hit a body in front. Jocelyn LaRock took the brunt of that one. Steckline hit another player, and that was Sarah Nurse. Nurse tries to get it out of the zone, can't. 34 seconds to go. Panic is tied up. Puck comes loose to LaRock. She'll put it up on the dasher. Comfort trying to get to it. Held in, Minnesota. Dangerous, they score! Sophie Jakes does it again. With 21 seconds to go, we're tied at three. Sophie Jakes, what a game she has had. Two goals in this one and many more opportunities on top of that that she has set up here tonight. And she scores a huge goal for Minnesota, tying this game up at three apiece with 21.1 seconds to go. She lets it fly. And you can see the, the joy radiating from Minnesota after that goal. Kendall Coyne Schofield nearly leaped out of her skates yeah. on the side of the net there. And what a big goal for Minnesota. Tough shift for Toronto. Here's Spooner again, right through the middle of the ice. Spooner. Steckline trying to poke it off her stick, did momentarily. Now staples her up against the wall and frees the puck for her teammate. Here comes Panic now. Panic. Three on two, back the other way for Minnesota. Panic feeds the middle. Oh, Steckline couldn't get a shot on. She was kind of tied up. And now Panic again. Lee Steckline, Kelly Panic. Patience. 2.15 to go in the OT. Kelly Panic winds, fires, and a blocker saved by Kristen Campbell. Steckline will get a head of steam. Feeds it ahead, Zumwinkle, big blast! And knocked away by Campbell. Nice shot, that was a tough one for Campbell. She gets in front of it though. Oh, fans wanted a tripping call. Coin Schofield went down, no penalty. That would be 
tough to call right there. Yeah, it's hard to get a call in overtime. It's got to be pretty egregious. I agree that probably is a tripping penalty, but the officials typically are going to let him play in OT. Well, fast had to hop her stick, and she's got to bring it back and tag up. Malte for Nurse. Oh, here comes LaRock. Out of her reach. Otherwise, she would have had a great A chance. Malte now. 120 to go. LaRock moving in. Nurse calling for it. One time. Muffled shot. They score. Sarah Nurse. And that's the game winner. Two goals. Late for Nurse. One in the third, one here in overtime. And Toronto is going to win its sixth in a row and get out of Minneapolis with two points. What a game.